Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm from the Learning Center at Red Willow, and I'm here with my friend Katrina. And Katrina is new to our schedule and coming on to teach a couple of really great classes. Um, the first one that's coming up is, and I'm probably going to, I practice this and I'm still going to probably wreck it. Um, it's Conscious Compassionate Connection. Very good. Did I get it? You got it. <sighs> See, I wanted to call it something else and she wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one of the things about these courses is that, you know, the, the description that's on the website about Katrina's class looks fascinating. Um, but one of the things that I think is really interesting and what I like to um, hear is I like to hear why people are passionate about doing the teaching that they do. What interested, you know, what interests you, what holds you into the work, why do you do it? Yeah, so this over to you. Yeah. This particular class? Yeah. Well, this uh, class, Conscious Compassionate Connection, is about listening. Mm -hmm. And um, listening is something that's been important to me since I can remember. Wow. Um, okay. And I find that most people don't listen very well. Right. And uh, one of the focus points in this class is to distinguish between the different kinds of listening. Mm -hmm. You know, we listen to the radio, we listen right. for, to a lecture for information. Right. Uh, we listen with the intent of kind of critiquing things. Um, but this class is more about a healing listening, where we're really holding a space for another person to express themselves right. um, without trying to fix right. them, change them, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hence the compassionate part. Right. Yeah. So it's it would be more like um, how I would kind of put it in in my terms would be that rather than listening to somebody and then formulating my response in my head while they're talking, I'm actually mm -hmm. listening to them. Would that be an right. example of that kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I would say one of my first uh, poignant experiences with this was with a counselor when I was in my 20s. Uh, she did very little talking. Mm -hmm. I went into each session and she just, uh, she was just 100% present with me. Right. And I could feel it. And that presence... That level of attention um, gave me the space to bring forward what I needed to bring forward. Right, right. She didn't need to suggest anything or make right. You know, give me any advice. It was just a safe place where I felt 100% held with compassion and attention. Wow, that's great. So what a gift that we can give to the other people in our lives to be able to do that for them. Right, and this is good for not just yeah. best friends or couples or uh, parents. Mm -hmm. We're in communication in relationship with people right. all the time, so right. this, this can be relevant like, to anyone. Yeah. Like whoever, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's a person, um, a colleague at work, or, you know, whatever. Right. Yeah. I think, um, you know, we're kind of recognizing that all of us, all human beings, you know, one of our core needs is to be heard. Right. And understood. So this is a way to, I think, you know, begin that journey if mm -hmm. you haven't already. Right. Yeah. There, there'll be plenty of opportunities for practice uh, in listening and in being heard. And being heard. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Does that sound cool? I think we should all do it. <laughs> so if you're interested in um, this class, this workshop, it's actually in a workshop format, mm -hmm. so it's uh, one day. Um, if you're interested, just go to our website. It's www.redwillowlearning.org and get yourself registered. It's going to be fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. See you in class. <laughs>